had a call from my daughter saying that dad had been um, taken to Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. We weren't quite sure what was wrong, but Kirsty said, don't panic, mum. Um, uh. He was in intensive care. The paramedics had, um, you know, entubed him. He had to have oxygen. He was in a pretty bad way. He was shocked several times. On the Wednesday after Bernard had the arrest and he was out of the coma. And, you know, we realised that he'd been saved by, I said, you know, you were saved by a defibrillator. And then it went, the process was, well, he will have to have an implanted an, a defibrillator, an ICD, um, which, you know, well, there's no question about it. It seemed to be very routine as far as we were concerned. Um, yeah. He seemed to be in and out and, yeah, absolutely fine. The defibrillator's there and we know that it works. And we know other people who've, who have got ICDs and who have had shocks and, you know, all still still there, still here. You know, cardiac arrest, not everybody can be saved, but everybody deserves the chance to be saved. And you don't know that until you've used the machine, you know, and um, plus they're, they're so um, easy to, to use now, um, which I think is another ang anxious point for people who, who don't know much about them, you know, but um, they should be everywhere. He was asymptomatic. I mean, this is the bizarre thing. There was nothing, no signs. I mean, he played golf on the day that he had the cardiac arrest. I mean, but he cannot remember me taking him to the airport to Gibraltar on the Wednesday morning. And this happened on the Thursday evening. He probably does even more now. He probably goes to gym even more now than he used to, you know? Don't really think about it, to be perfectly honest. I found it quite difficult that first year I was very anxious, but um, he was chilled about it, really. But we have the monitor in our house as well. That, that's just there, and, and you know that, you know, it, it reads the, it takes the reading off the ICD. I know it sounds ridiculous. It was such a major event, but I uh, feel that everything's just taken care of. This has been a huge learning curve for us as a family and our extended friends and family. It's, uh, it, it was the most simple thing, him having that implanted. And um, yeah, he couldn't, yeah, it, it, it was, I mean, there's no, there's no question. 